hey, just a heads up, this episode, like all our episodes, is set in prison. It also features some jokes about bodily functions and the like. Welcome back to the radicalization of Julie Curdface Capsum. Jersey girls, we're the Jersey girls. I'm Josie, I'm Megan, I'm Scabies, I'm Beth. We come from South Helmetta. We've got the songs you love to hear. We're the Jersey. Yep, that's me, Julie Capsum. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. Well, the whole story started when my bunkmate, Butcher Bob, found this. Uh, we have a problem. A big one. Roger and I were figuring out when we were going to get the next shipment, and uh, there's been a change of plans. Change of plans? What change of plans? And why a change of plans? Wow, that's exactly what I said, Julie. Man, we are really on the same wavelength. Bob, focus. Oh, jeez. Thank you, Rory. It's keeping me on point. The thing is, Tony's wife just gave birth, which, like, good for them. The miracle of life really is a miraculous thing, yada, yada, yada. And now everyone in transportation is shifting around to accommodate for Tony's paternity leave. Hmm. How progressive of Fortinbras. I know, right? Yes. A corporation did half a good thing. How does that add up to change of plans? Roger's schedule is completely out of whack for the next couple of weeks until they get a fill-in for Tony. Roger's only on shift at the worst possible times for our operation. Peak hard-ass guard times. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, after-dinner bonding time. Roger said that we might need to find someone else to help, but I don't know if we can trust anyone else. No other guard here, transpo or otherwise, can match me and cap some classic trivia. I would... Surely hope not. This is fine. Plans change all the time. We we just Sometimes have to... Sometimes you start the day with one draft of a script. Then, by the end of the day, you've already gone through three other drafts. This is just a new draft to work with. I love this. What does it mean? It means we're going to have to create a show-stopping distraction. Mm. What is this play, Kurtface? As you can see on the cover, it's called Jersey Girls, and it's by Yorick Pedelson. No, I mean, what is this play, Kurtface? It appears to just be Little Women, but set in New Jersey in the 2260s, and for some reason, Amy's name is Scabies. That's either social commentary or a bad Google Translate result. So, you'll be in it? I don't sing or dance. Or act. No, I'm not going to be in your musical. But it doesn't have to be my musical, Chase. It could be our musical. And the perfect distraction for the guards as our latest shipment comes in. And why do I have to be a part of it? You're the actor, remember? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. You don't have to monologue about whether or not you're an actor. I wasn't going to monologue about being an actor. You've met you, right? Chase... This is the only way we're going to get this shipment in without a hitch. Uh-huh. Oh, don't you do your patented skeptical uh-huh. Do you have a better plan? I didn't even get a chance to think of one. You just jumped immediately to the idea that would get you the most attention and glory. Oh, relax. I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm doing this for the good of the operation. Yeah, well, lately, the good of the operation seems like it has a lot more to do with what's going to get you the most applause. Don't think I haven't noticed. You came in here wanting to lay low, and now you're the life of the dang party all the dang time. Fine. You don't have to be part of it. Deb can play the piano. Deb says she can play the piano. Well, she doesn't say it anymore, but... It's easily verifiable, right? I should go and find out. So? Velma, stop lurking in the shelves like that. It's not polite. Why don't you just tell her how you feel? Excuse me? Instead of shooting her down like that. You need to tell Miss Capson lose some. I'm not letting the nickname go. It's a much better one. 
that she's your one true prison best friend. That's not true. Kurt Face and I have a business arrangement, and that's it. Oh, look how jealous you are of the fact that she has other friends, even though you're trying to play it off as teasing. I've seen the way you get around her. The way you let her prattle on, I've never seen you let anyone prattle on the way you let her. And all so you can tell her about exciting things that happen to you in your day. Or maybe discuss your many shared interests. What shared interests? You're running a smuggling operation together. Sounds like a pretty big shared interest to me. My point is that sometimes you feel like an independent country, an island of your own. But once in a great while, 13 colonies that recently formed their own nation reach out and ask, Hey, do you want to be the 14th state? Chase, don't be an island. Be a Vermont. I'm done with this. Tell her she's your best friend. Youth is wasted on the young. Don't you worry, Julie. You've got this. So Deb couldn't play the piano. Who needs accompaniment? Certainly not you. You've got perfect pitch. I don't have perfect pitch. In my dreams, you do. God, I wish Chase were doing this with me. Is that weird? No, you two are best friends. Chase is not my best friend. <laughs> Natalie's my best friend. Uh, sure. Act like I haven't been paying attention this whole time. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Time to show everyone why I won that Saturn Award for my performance in 2013-2012 Part 2. <sighs> well, here we are in beautiful New Jersey, and I sure do feel like singing about it. Jersey girls! All right, you got this, Bob. Easy peasy. You have a solid hour to sort this shipment out if you want to catch the second act. And boy, do you want to catch that second act. Yep, that's me, Butcher Bob. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> well, it all started when we had a problem. A big one! have a problem. A big one. <laughs> Roger and I were- wait, did you guys already hear that? You did. Okay, shoot. Uh, hold on. No, wait, don't cut away. I can make this flashback worth it. All right, uh, here we go. And as you may have heard, acclaimed starlet Julie Capsum, convicted of several crimes, will be interred here for the next 18 months. We expect her to receive the same treatment as anybody else, and we hope that just because she's famous... I'll do it! Pick me! I'll be Julie Capsum's bunkmate! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! And you're all caught up. With what? With my life story, Roger. Try to keep up. Uh-huh. Well, here's the shipment. I know it sucks that we're both missing the big show for this, but it's worth it. What's a musical without some sophomore mints? <laughs> Let's just get this unloaded quickly. Maybe we can see the big finale! When I heard she was going to do all the parts, I thought, that's going to be a mess. She's kind of making it work. I've seen better scabies performances, though. And I'll be honest, even an actor of her caliber, I'm struggling to follow all the plot twists. She needs help. Well, generally, actors excel when they have someone to play opposite, yeah? Fine. Doing what I said I'd never do again. Getting up there on stage. I don't care, Scabies. It was my hyperdocument and you said it on Cyberfire. That's a digi crime. You should have loved me more. <clears throat> now, you Jersey. Yep, that's me, Chase. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Well, the answer is really quite simple. Kurt Face and I have become rather close, 
and I hated to see her bombing up there. Also, when I was a child, I accidentally farted during a quiet moment in our church's Christmas pageant, and it's haunted me ever since. So, as you can see, in addition to all our other shared interests, Curdface and I have a unique bond around Christmas-related trauma. That should be good. I think you're all caught up. Girls, don't you fight! Robot Marmy, you came! Of course I came, Kurt. Er, Jersey girls. You don't understand how precious each and every moment you have together is. That goes especially for you, Beth. Someday you might realize that even though you were all Jersey girls, some of you became Jersey friends. We did, didn't we? We did become Jersey friends. Kurt face, stick to the script. Why? Yes, the best Jersey friends of them all. That's you and me. Big, great Jersey friends. So we finally won the time war, and we did so with only one death. But the thing that really sucks for us is that we lost our sister Beth. But that's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the cookie breaks when you're in the garden state. Swing on by this big, bold world to find the Jersey Girls. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Chase, come on up here. Take a bow. I saw Butcher Bob and Roger during our final number. I think we pulled it off, Chase. And the word to pay attention to there is we. I know I've taken you for granted, and I wanted to say- Ah, don't get all sappy. The important thing is, I overcame my crippling stage fright. You have crippling stage fright? I did, yeah. But I had a lot of fun tonight. It's easier to perform when you're opposite a Saturn Award-winning actress. But I'm really not singing next time, got it? Next time? If you tell anybody I said that, I'll deny it endlessly. Lights out in an hour. Hey, Capsum, great show. Yeah, what a finale. After a performance like that, we're really going to miss you, kid. Yeah, where else are we going to get our live art after next week? Hell, if I'm going to pay for something I can get for free. Mm-hmm. Your release date was moved up. Chase, I... It was. I've been trying to tell you, uh-huh. but... Have a nice life on the outside, Julie. Chase, I can explain! Thank you for listening to this episode. Complete credits for this miniseries are available on the season premiere and season finale. To listen to the whole miniseries right now, ad-free, go to patreon.com slash ardenpod. Oh, Bernard, you do such things to me. Yep, that's me, Velma the Vermonter. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation, and I'll give you the whole story. It begins 13.8 billion years ago in a seemingly empty corner of an infinite nothing. Then suddenly... A bold, bright light. Someday, out of this chaos, Vermont. <laughs>